Welcome to the Electromagnetic Works video tutorial series. In this video, we will use the antenna analysis module of HFWorks in order to determine the near and far field parameters of a horn antenna. The antenna is composed of a SOLIDWORKS model involving metallic parts that surround an air component. This air component is split into three separate parts. They represent the propagation of the field from the feed through the horn and radiating out to the air. You can create a new study in the HFWorks Manager. You can name the study, select the study type and enter the frequency settings. These settings include the frequency range, as well as a choice between solving a full model for all frequencies in a discrete sweep and using a reduced order model in a fast sweep. Antenna studies also include settings for the theta and phi angles used in the far field calculations. The first step in analyzing the antenna is to apply material to all of the bodies used. HFWorks has an extensive materials library. By selecting the material, electrical parameters such as the permittivity, permeability and conductivity will be applied to the body. To ensure that bodies of the same type have the same material properties, you can drag the material from one body to another. You can also select multiple bodies and apply the material to all of them combined. When selecting the material, you can review the material properties before applying it. You can also create or edit existing materials. When the materials are defined, you can apply the loads and restraints. The first and most important one is the wave port for the antenna. This will indicate where the fields originate. After the wave port, the radiation boundaries have to be applied. This will indicate the faces of any air component where the fields will go through instead of reflecting backwards. In this example, we will select the radiation boundaries as all of the faces that surround the radiation component. The last step before running the analysis is creating the finite element mesh. You can either set the global element size or apply a mesh control on smaller bodies. In this example, we want a finer mesh at the horn feed of the antenna. In mesh generation, several options are available. You can either set the global mesh size, or you can use the smart mesh options. In smart mesh, two settings are available. Wavelength meshing, which can allow for several elements to be entered along the distance of one wavelength, and smart PEC, which eliminates the need for meshing any metallic parts to take advantage of the skin depth effect. Once the mesh is created, you can review the mesh from the outside or use a 3D plot to view the mesh elements from the inside as well. Like with other 3D plots, such as the field plots, you can view those plots by cutting a section or using the ISO surfaces. In section plotting, you can drag a section parallel to the front, right or top planes in SOLIDWORKS to get a better view of the plots. You can change the plane of operation as well as change the distance from that plane numerically or by dragging. You can also rotate the section about an axis. 
You can also add multiple sections. With the use of multiple sections, you would be able to see many of the internal mesh elements without having to plot the entire mesh. After reviewing the mesh, as well as other pre-processing inputs, you are now ready to run the analysis.